Hey there, this is Arn with Simpletix, and we want to announce that Simpletix now integrates with Whova. So Whova is an app um, that people that go to your conference can put on their mobile devices ahead of the event, and they have the ability to like sort of add their own business card, and they can also start networking with other people at your conference. So at your conference, they can see up-to-date details about everything, and you can also do blasts and notifications to folks at your conference too. So there's lots of cool features at Whova, and we have a direct integration um, with Whova, and we'll talk about how it all works right now in this video. Okay, so step number one is to get a Whova account. And once you've gotten it, um, click Create Event to create your first event. Now, I already did that a week ago, so here's the event that I was sort of playing around with. Um, it's called the 2020 Outdoor Economy Conference, and here it is. So I've already created it. Um, that's the very first step. All right, so the next step is to jump into your Simpletix account, then go to Settings, and then choose Zapier, and then copy, copy your API key right here just so you have it. And um, we're basically going to jump into Zapier right now. So in the bottom of the page, it says, you know, Simpletix integrations with Zapier. Go ahead and click that to jump right in. We'll have one of those templates on that first page available for you soon. All right, so the next step is to search for Whova on this list. So I'll type in Whova here. And basically what we're going to do is integrate um, your Zapier account to Whova. So basically Simpletix will talk to Zapier and Zapier will talk to Whova. All right. So um, basically right here, um, we've sort of found it on the list. And um, so I'll choose make a Zap right here. And I will call it um, Whova um, Collider Test. All right. So the trigger app. Um, so in this case, it's Simpletix. So I'll type in Simpletix here. There it is in the list, and what the trigger event is. All right, this is a brand new feature we just added in Simple Six about two days ago. It's called New Attendee. Before this, we only had New Order, but now we have a brand new thing called New Attendee. What is the difference? The difference is New Order is just basically one ping for the entire order. It tells you who bought what. New Attendee is, well, think about Bob going to this conference and having three different um, you know, coworkers that he registers in his same order. So Bob is bringing Katie, Sarah, and Mike. Well, this right here is going to be three different um, attendees. So that's what we're going to want for Whova. So I'll click New Attendee here. Now I'll click Continue. All right. And I will go ahead and select um, my account. Now, if you haven't created one right now, um, go to the bottom and click Add New Account. And if you clicked that button to copy your API key, you can simply just paste it in right here. All right, so I just pasted it in my key, and I can see um, this test site right here is called the Collider. And I'll click Continue. And basically, it's going to grab our last order in the system. I'll just go ahead and hit Test and Continue right now. And the next step is Whova. So I'll type in Whova here. Whova, there it is. I'll click it. And I will say the action is, there's only one action, so create and update an attendee. I'll go ahead and click that. I'll click Continue. And I will select my Whova account. Now, I already linked this. If you haven't linked your Whova account, there's an option um, to create a new account. You'll go ahead and click that. But I'll go ahead and click my Whova account right here, and I'll click Continue. All right, so now our data fields. Let's populate it. So Whova has a few fields, um, first name. So I'll go ahead and grab the attendee first name here. And I'll go ahead and grab the last name. And I'll go ahead and grab the email address. All right, um, that's basically it. Whova doesn't really have a phone number field or a ticket type field, unfortunately. Um, that's a limitation on Whova's end. Um, if they did have those fields, we would populate them definitely right here. All right, so I'll go ahead and um, we got all the required fields. Yeah, so basically event. Oh, yeah, to choose the event. So basically here's our event it's coming coming from Whova. This is the test event that we made. I'll click that. And now we're good to go. So I'll click continue. And I will click test and continue. And now I will click done editing. And we'll turn it on. Okay, so now the fun part. Let's test it out. So um, I'm on an event page right now. This is our test event we're working with, and I'll grab two tickets. And the reason why I'm not grabbing one ticket is we want to show that the attendee level data is getting pushed over to Whova, not just the buyer, which is one, but like two attendees. So 
um, the buyer name, I'll put um, the word buyer here. Um, that way we can kind of see the difference here. So buyer test, and I'll put any email address in here, honestly. Um, and participant's name, I will type in Jenny um, samples. I'll put um, Jenny at anything really. Um, and um, I'll put Pete samples below and anything at anything really as well. Awesome. All right. So we've made, we made an order pretty much, but the buyer's name is buyer, but, but the two attendees that would be at the event that would want to meet other people would be Jenny and Peter here. So now I'll click complete. And now what we'll do is we'll jump into um, Zapier and we'll see the history. So this is the history page in Zapier. Let me reload it. And I'll hit refresh on this page right here and we'll see our zap so just happened. So basically this is how you can kind of monitor your Zapier account. So these are the last two that I just made right now. So I'll click this first one and I can see data out. I can see Peter here. I go back, click this one right here. I should see Jenny, there's Jenny, awesome. And now if I go to my Whova account and refresh my attendees, I should see Peter and Jenny on this page. And I look at this page and I look for Peter there's Peter and there's Jenny. Um, where, um, yep, perfect. Yep, there's Peter and Jenny. So those came in um, so we can see all the details about that. So at this point, they can log into the account. They can network with other people at your conference. Um, if there's any kind of program or agenda that your conference has, they can view it all on their smartphones. So this is fantastic. All right, well, thanks for watching this video today on how to integrate SimpleSix with Zapier and then Whova. All right, cheers, bye now.